Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Today we got Z-Blaze Stratus 2 Lite version. The reason why I ordered Lite is because this particular model comes with a GPS module installed inside of the watch. They cost $30 on AliExpress right now with free shipping. However, if you use coins or you use any discounts and codes from different stores, you know, you can get them cheaper and on sale you can get them for about $20. And that's very cheap for the watch with a GPS model installed in the actual watch. Now, let's unbox it and see what comes in the box. The box itself is nice and sturdy. If you're buying this for a present, be sure that the person will actually like seeing what they're gonna see. Inside of the box, you'll find the charger. The charger looks like that. It's got two pins, meaning that there's no data transfer available for this particular model. However, it sits nicely on your desk. And also inside of the box, you'll find the watch itself. This is the blue version. You've got two different versions. You've got blue and you have a black watch as well. So this watch comes with a chipset, which is Dialog 14695. The display of this watch is 1.32 inches across with a resolution of 360 by 360. It's a nice display to look at. The colors are not as vivid as you would find on AMOLED display because this is an IPS matrix. So, but however, it's nice to look at and at the daylight when you got very bright sunshine, um, you know, um, the screen is still readable, which is fantastic. Not a lot of watches can actually do that, uh, but this screen is readable nicely as well. Inside of the watch, you'll find the Bluetooth, which is Bluetooth 5.0. Connection stays nice and strong. I've never seen any dropouts and all the information gets updated daily, hourly. It's just like not a problem whatsoever. You know, the text messages coming through, uh, phone calls coming through and all those, all those things. And also inside there's a battery, which is 300 milliamp battery. If you use this watch extensively and you've got all the options turned on and everything else, this watch will last you three working days and three nights. Easy, not a problem whatsoever. Now, if you're gonna turn off things like heart rate sensor, um, continuous heart rate sensor, and also a turn on display by rotating your wrist and all those things, then the watch can actually last for as much as a week, which is fantastic. There's also an option within the app, I'll show you that later on, you can actually toggle on and always on display now, if you fully charge your watch and you use the always on display, which means your, your always on display will stay like that for the entire day, um, then the battery will drain within a day. Okay, so you, by the time you come back from work or, you know, places where you went to, your battery will be drained and you're going to have to recharge it. But it's pretty much similar to bigger brands, like for instance, Apple or Samsung, because those watches, they do tend to discharge their battery within a day as well. So as I mentioned before, this watch comes with a GPS module. It can connect to four satellites spontaneously. It's got three modes for GPS. It's got GPS, it's got GLONASS, it's got Galileo, and it's got Beidou. The watch has a water um, resistance and also dust resistant rating, uh, which is currently rated at 5 ATM, meaning you can actually dive with this watch up to 50 meters in depth. So therefore, if you go into your local swimming pool, you're taking a shower, you're washing your dishes, you know, you're going for a swim in the ocean, I wouldn't worry too much. The only thing I would say is if you're taking it into salty water, once you come out, please make sure you just rinse it with a just tap water or drinking water just to remove any salt because salt can get in between the crevices where the buttons are and eventually it can build up crystals and eventually it'll probably make its way inside of the watch and you just don't want that anyway but you can take it pretty much anywhere you can dive with it and it's gonna last forever and ever and ever to come the actual build of the watch the bezel is metal however the body of the watch is um, plastic it's a good quality plastic it's nice plastic to the touch now as i mentioned you've got two different um, color schemes you've got blue with the blue strap and you also got black with the black strap um, this is the rear of the watch. This is where you where you find your sensors. You've got your heart rate sensor. You've got your ECG sensor. You know blood oxygen sensor and all those things. This is where the um, um, your dock will connect to your watches to charge them up. It's not like crazy ma magnetic. However, when you put it down, it's still like there are a few magnets in there to hold it in place. So I wouldn't worry too much. And the scenario would be you would put that right next to your bed like on the bedside table and you come back from work and you just plonk it down and you just let it charge and it will charge in within an hour and you can take it off and you can start using it again so what we'll do now is we'll jump into main menu so first of all what i have to do is i have to unlock the screen because i've chosen to lock the screen this is something i would probably do on a daily basis to avoid any accidental swipes on the screen to do that you hold the top button for 
the duration it takes. So now the screen is unlocked and now we can take a look at the main menu. So this is the watch face. There are four watch faces pre-installed onto the watch itself and there's 150 plus watch faces available within the app, which we will take a look a later on. To change the watch face, all you have to do is just press and hold on the screen and then you swipe to your left and you'll find a next watch face. And there's another one. This one actually shows you the weather. So we'll come back to the one I prefer. I do like this watch face. I think it looks cool. If you scroll from top to bottom, it gives you access to quick settings, things like uh, vibration intensity. You've got three positions. So you've got one, two, three. I tend to put it on, on the highest because the vibration intensity on number three is enough to wake you up in the morning. Now you've got the brightness setting, S same thing. I keep it on the maximum. So number five is the maximum. And then you've got uh, other options if you wanna use that. This is your uh, button to lock the screen. So as I've mentioned before, once you're done with your watch, just click on that. Your home screen will be locked. So if you're wearing this watch during the day, you're not gonna get these accidental swipes with your, uh, with your sleeves or anything like that. So it's a useful feature to have. And also you got your do not disturb mode, you got your battery saving mode, and you also got your access to your main settings, which we will take a look later on as well. If you scroll from bottom to top, uh, it gives you access to your six um, saved messages at any time given. Once you get new notifications coming through, obviously they will be replaced. It's like almost like a carousel um, and the previous messages will be automatically deleted. You can, um, you can jump into any of the text messages yourself. For instance, if you just jump in there, you can read that much of the text message and you can choose to delete or you can, you know, you can just swipe back and you can keep that message for the time being or you can just scroll all the way down and you can delete absolutely every single message in one click. If you scroll from left to right or right to left, it really doesn't matter. It's exactly the same menu. It's almost like a, like a round menu. First, it shows you your, um, your achievements. So for instance, how many calories you've burned, how many steps you've done for a day and all those things. Then you've got your music control. It's very simple, straightforward, but nicely laid out. Play, pause, skip tracks, and you can increase or decrease uh, your volume. Then you've got your temperatures or weather for today. It shows you only one day, but it's pretty much all you need for today. So you wake up, you glance at the weather, you know what's gonna happen, whether you need your umbrella today or whether you can put your shorts on, whatever. It gives you enough information there. Then you've got your information about your sleep tracking for the previous night. You've got your oxygen rating sensor. You've got your heart rate sensor. Mine is currently set at continuous measuring. So it actually, you can see there's a graph. It measures all the time. You have to have it on the wrist, otherwise it won't take any, any reading. And then you're back to your main menu. The bottom button turns your screen on and off manually. And if you want to access the main menu, you have to press the top button. In here, first of all, you'll see your workouts. There's a number of different workouts and amongst which you'll find swimming. We'll scroll down and you'll see swimming at some point in a swimming pool. Open water swimming. You've got your sailing as well. So that means you really can take this watch into any situation and they will be absolutely fine. There's plenty of uh, sports to choose from. Then you can jump into your activities. Obviously, I'll show you that later on, possibly. So what I want to do today is I want to take this watch onto a road with me. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm actually going to do some shopping and I'm going to activate walking and we'll see how the GPS tracks my way around where I'm going to go. And then we'll see the records in here as well. And then if we go to stats, obviously that shows you your achievements for the day. Furthermore, you've got your ratings. So for instance, heart rate uh, rating uh, and oxygen. And now if you go into sleep here, you can actually see more information about it. You'll see what time you went, um, how long your deep, slept, uh, your deep sleep la um, lasted and light sleep lasted and all those things, whether you woke up in the middle of the night or you didn't and so on and so on. So there's a bit more in the main menu available. News are your text messages. Weather, we've seen that. Compass is your very simple, straightforward compass. It works absolutely rubbish indoors because obviously it's got no connection to the satellites but it works perfectly fine as soon as you step outside because then it can connect to the satellites and it can actually see where, where it's going. Also, you've got your music control, you've got your stopwatch and timer. They're very simple, straightforward. The only thing I would say is with the stopwatch and timer, unfortunately, once you set it, you cannot leave the screen. So you're gonna have to stay on the screen for the duration of the measurement. You can find your phone if you've lost it. And now, if we jump into the settings, this is where you'll find your watch faces. You can choose between different brightness levels, but as I mentioned, five is probably the best because it is the brightest. Vibration intensity, 
auto lock you can actually activate it and you can use your screen you can make your screen to stay on for as long as 20 seconds which is plenty good enough i usually tend to set it to 15 anyway you've got your qr code um, to download the zblaze app which we will take a look at in a minute and that's basically it it's very simple it's very straightforward it's very easy to use watch um, i do like the look of it i do like the feel of it um, I don't have a massive wrist, I don't have a smallest wrist either, but I think this watch will suit men, women, women and also kids as well. It's nice and comfortable, it's light enough as well. I mean, because it's got GPS module installed, it's slightly on the thicker side. I think it's more like over 10 mil, maybe 12 mil, but that doesn't reflect in comfort. Like, the comfort is still up there, you know, it's still nice to wear this watch, it's not bulky in any way possible. So what we'll do now is we'll quickly jump into a Z-Blaze app, I'll show you what's what, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna summarize today's video for you guys. Right, so as I mentioned before, it's probably a good time for us to take a look at the Z-Blaze feed app, we'll jump into this. On the first page we can see the remaining battery charge, we can also see how many uh, kilometers or miles we managed to accomplish today, how many calories we've burned, how many steps we've done, um, and things like, you know, sleep tracking for the past uh, night. And we, if we jump into sleep tracking, it'll show us more information than there is available within the watch itself. Um, we can see the heart rate reading. And if we jump into that, we should be able to see, yeah, we'll, sh we'll see the graph and we can, we can literally, we can just scroll down and we can see how, you know, how we did in terms of heart rate set, rating and all those things. And it's, it's very consistent, it's very, it's very nice. It's, so it's, it's taking it all the time, which is fantastic. Now, if we jump into the second option, this is a workout um, window. This is where you can start it manually through your phone as well. And then if we jump into third setting, this is where we can set up certain things for our watch. So for instance, we can use it as a control to take pictures remotely. Uh, we can do the um, weather settings, for instance, we can, you know, we can toggle different cities and all those things. Continuous heart rate detect detecting, we can put it either on or off, so we can, we can take heart reading manually and that's going to dramatically save the battery. Um, we can also set the um, heart rate warning, so for instance, if it jumps above the certain level, the watch will actually um, alert you about that, which is good for those who, you know, who suffer with a heart disease or anything like that. Remind the settings. This is where you can set your alarm. You can set your sedentary alert. So for instance, if you set for too long, it'll, it'll remind you to stand up, take a walk and do some exercises, whatnot. Drinking water reminder. That's good for those who always forget to drink water throughout the day. So you can set it up here. And medication reminder. That's quite useful as well, especially if you're on a continuous um, medication. So for instance, if it's something you're going to have to take for the rest of your life, you know, this is something useful to have as well message notifications so this is where you can toggle on your master switch and then you choose what you're going to see on your watch so for instance phone calls text messages and then all the social medias that you can see if a social media of your choice or an application of your choice is not in the list all you have to do is just toggle others down the bottom and that will allow for absolutely all the information from your watch to be sorry not from your watch from your phone to be pushed onto your watch for the dial center in my dials you can see dials that are pre-installed on your watch uh, only and then if you go to online dials this is where you find those 150 extra watch faces that can be downloaded there are different groups we're not going to jump into all of them right now because there's a lot of them to view but i'm just going to jump into business for instance you've got different watch faces and the beauty of pretty much all of those watch faces is for instance let's say i like this particular watch face which is number one i'll just jump into it but then it gives you a different variations of these watch faces as well so you can choose between different color schemes and you can really sort of design a watch face that you 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 prefer and also if you if you come out from here and you scroll all the way down there's an album dial as well so you can actually you can actually use your own picture you can choose between different colors and all those things and how it's going to and the layout of the time and day and all those things so you can really customize a watch face if you really wanted to now if we jump into the settings of the actual watch what we see here is race to wake so for instance mine is set to smart on and it starts so the screen will do that between seven o'clock and ten o'clock so past ten o'clock at night this option will stop and no matter how much i rotate my wrist the screen will never come on meaning it's not going to disturb my sleep disturb my wife's sleep it's going to be perfectly fine do not disturb settings is same again you can set it up so for instance between 10 and 6 o'clock in the morning nothing will come to your watch no text messages no notifications absolutely nothing it will be silent 
you can find device if you've lost it and you can jump into more settings this is where you can set things like time settings you can choose between different formats 24 12 hours brightness settings for the for the watch you can also jump into device language settings amongst which you'll find english turkish greek french german italian spanish russian polish and portuguese those are the languages that are available and from my experience the fonts that you'll find in your language will look really good as well so it's not that case where you think right english looks all right but then you've changed to something else and it just looks rubbish no that's not the case the languages do look nice um, as well and then you can restart device if you wanted to and you can also do and i would advise you uh, strongly when you get your watch is to do the device firmware update which there will be available for your watch and that's pretty much it uh, there's some information about yourself so for instance your height your date of birth and all those things and yeah very straightforward very nicely laid out and like i mentioned before i'm really sad that not all of the z blaze watches use the z blaze fit app unfortunately but that's one of those cases where you get a nice watch and a nice app in one package. All right, as I mentioned before, in these settings, we'll jump into settings and I'll show you real quick is if you go to Stratus 2 and then you go to more settings and then you go to brightness settings. Here, if you toggle on, normally on, that will activate that always on display which will stay on but bear in mind that with always on display the battery will be drained within a day okay so now that you had a chance to have a look at the z blaze app and we actually spoke about this watch um some of the features i really love about this watch is gps module inside for the price the screen although it's not a amoled display it's easily easily readable in a daylight when the sun is brightest it's also not too disturbing when you want to check your time during the night time. So it's not going to be like a, like a blaster into your eyes. You're still going to be all right after it. It's nice, simple design. It's rugged design as well. Like as I mentioned, the bezel is metal. This is a Gorilla Glass. So don't worry about buying any uh, protective film or anything like that. You know, your screen will be absolutely fine. It's not going to get scratched whatsoever. The plastic body feels nice on the wrist. The strap is also nice. As I've mentioned, you've got two different options when you purchase this watch. You've got blue and black version as well. So the black one comes with a black color body and a black strap. And really, guys, it's one of those, it's one of those times when I'm going to have to say, for the price, it's an amazing watch to have. And if you're going to be buying this as a present for someone, trust me, they're going to love it. They're just going to love it. They're going to wear it every single day in any situation. You just don't have to take it off, you know, shower, uh, swimming, swimming pool, absolutely anywhere. Take it with you you're just gonna love it so if you like this watch if you like this review follow down the link in the description and i've just left the link to the place where i've purchased this watch with my own money um, and i just wanted to say thank you for subscribing thank you for staying tuned with these videos uh, and this channel and with me uh, i hope you enjoy this content and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much and i'll see you later Bye bye